to IKEA, the first IKEA in the Philippines. As you can see, the display is behind us. Um, the entrance is also behind us. Um, I'll try and be a good tour guide for today because um, IKEA is really popular in Europe. So I've been to IKEA in Ireland and Spain and various other places, and it's all pretty much the same setup. And if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like getting on a roller coaster. Uh, you can't get off. <laughs> so you're directed to the I think bedrooms over there and then it just leads you through a path like a roller coaster or a ghost train or something through every single department so once you're on it you can't get off you see everything I'm just excited to go on and see I just want to get on <laughs> how is it? it's so nice it's so comfortable very it? timely as well because I'm looking for a new office here buttons up and down Okay, we're here a few minutes. One thing we're noticing a lot of is out of stock. Out of stock. Where's the other ones? Oh, oh yeah. Which one? So, out, out of stock. stock. <laughs> out of stock. Uh, what's that? Off the easel, out of stock. Uh, hand is in stock. Mm. If you want a hand, it's installed. Yay! <laughs> Many showrooms and made-up rooms. Sort of gives you really good ideas of uh, yeah, putting things together because um, if you're like me, you have no idea of design or colors or stuff that goes together. Inspirationally, interior designly stunted like myself. Uh, it really is quite a lot of good ideas here. What's it's up, babe? No, but so cheap. It's just one one mm -hmm. for this thing. Okay, I'll think about it. And eight hundred for the chair. So just imagine us drinking in the balcony, like this. <laughs> well, yes. It? Now I can imagine it thanks to IKEA, and it's it's, <laughs> it's uh, showrooms. You have your book here. You know, I have coffee. So picturing morning balcony. Live they even provide a cup. <laughs> <laughs> like looking in a, It's like walking up to someone's house and looking through the window. Yeah, what? They also base it on how many square meters your home mm -hmm. is. So look at that one. This one is like a floor plan for a 55 square meter house. So they have it all interior perfectly for a perfect for a small house. Okay. Let's take a look. Pretend family. I know it's not very minimalist. They managed to make things look kind of cluttered but nice at the same time. And it's like you've got loads of guests over and you don't know who they are. Cool space saver stuff. With tiny apartment living now in Manila, I have to think of these things that drop down. <sighs> ah. I think the great thing about these showrooms is you're never more than about three meters from a couch. <laughs> we're actually shopping for a couch these days as well, or sofa. And, uh, so we're in, what was it called, Furniture Republic? Yeah. Yeah, and actually it's pretty good quality and uh, we're testing out the different sofas and you could really feel quality. And then we went to a, another store where the couches were about half the price. And as soon as you just sit down on it, it's just like... The quality is oh. so bad. Yeah, it's just like, whoa, <laughs> it just doesn't feel the same. Whereas this is 35K, it's kind of mid-range. But when you sit on it, it's just, oh, that's comfortable. Love seat. Call it 5K, which I think is Ikea's cheapest sofa. How is it? It's very comfy. It doesn't feel like it's 5K. <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, I used to live in Spain uh, as well as Ireland and Germany and uh, I'm starting to see things. I actually bought these identical in, in Spain. So even so many years later, that's maybe five years ago, uh, a lot of the stuff is familiar and I'm even on another continent. What I mean by the roller coaster or ghost train, we've just pat went through all the showrooms. You seem to have to walk through showrooms to get to other places and then the path just leads all the way around there. People walk, 
down and keep going around and around and I have to say it's from a marketing point of view IKEA is really perfection with it I mean you cannot get through the store without walking past every single item in it so uh, I think people are just doing this as a fun day out you know, I know there's kids sections and stuff but uh, but it also happened in Europe people when IKEA came along oh let's go and see IKEA even though they didn't need anything you okay babe from Ikea's cheapest sofa at 5k to its, I think the most expensive one I can find here at 125k, the Stockholm, <laughs> so, with a 25 year guarantee. Hmm? I feel bougie. You feel what? Bougie. Bougie? Bougie. Bougie? <laughs> expensive, I feel rich. What's bougie? Bougie is a term for... <laughs> is it English or Filipino? <laughs> It's English, it's a term. Okay, I'm gonna look that one up. <laughs> we'll insert a snippet here what it means. Okay, Fuji. We'll look it up. I've never heard of that before. Is That's it comfy? That's the age difference. That's yeah. why it is. <laughs> I'm so comfy, I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting hungry. We've only just started. No. <laughs> That's what this we don't need that. Yes, we, do. we don't. Yes, we do. We don't have a decent table in the living room. Here. We do? Okay, well, maybe we do need one. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, let's just bring back memories. These are like the iconic things of IKEA when you need to sort of kit out your rental place or new place really cheap. But these square tables have been, yeah, have been around forever. It's like cheap coffee table, looks cool. Why do you want that round one? It looks. that I want for the living room. Doesn't look that nice. Well, when you put it on. <laughs> mm, so we're out of the big sort of massive showroom for all the couches and then it goes back into mini showrooms of each individual room and design ideas. You'll find us all in here at the Humber Hall. We're here about an hour now, I think. Um, we feel like we've just scratched the surface and we're getting kind of hungry. So, um, I don't, yeah, I think it's uh, quite a bit more to go. Oh, dear God. Okay, we've been here for about an hour. So we came in, showroom entrance, living room, living room storage. Um, it seems we're right still at the beginning. And uh, we've got all that to go. Oh, bit IKEA for business. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look how cool the nail spa is. It's very classy. So, there we go. IKEA for business, design your business space with us. Ooh. Office space. People who, it's not just for home and stuff. If someone wants to get, hey, I'm going to open up a coffee place. A friend of ours just has actually and uh, it's so easy you just go well obviously it won't be cheap to do it from scratch but just go yeah this 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 and it's already a cool style I'd visit here if it was a coffee shop and start a clothes store there you go you don't need a interior designer you just uh, come here and go I like that in each showroom and each sort of model house and office and stuff uh, each, each tag has its uh, unique reference number. So when I did this years ago, um, IKEA used to hand out you know, pieces of paper and pencils for you to write down the codes. Babe, but now, <laughs> do you want to model how to do it? So now obviously with everyone with smartphones, you take your camera out, you photograph that, you go, oh, it's that price, it's that code. And also you get a picture of the table as well. So if they're a bit confused, if anyone's a bit confused, they can go, hey, this is it. So yeah, as everyone goes around now, it's gone away with pens and pencil, pens and paper. It's a good one. Hmm? It's a good one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Um, you can work on it too. Yeah, so everyone just comes around with their phones and snap, 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 and then come to the end and there's a counter and go, oh. I kind of forgot what kids sound like saying they were locked up for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's true. Kids, kids haven't been allowed in the malls for nearly two years and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, back to normality. Crying kids. These hours, they had these hours long before COVID. They're actually projected from the ceiling down. 
big hours there, big hours that. So IKEA came up with hours long before COVID did. You alright, babe? Hmm? Yeah. I'm so hungry. So we're entering kitchen showrooms. Babe, look. Babe, look. See? No, you don't. So yeah, really cool kitchen ideas. Um, obviously, um, IKEA is designed with sort of Europe initially in mind because it's from Sweden. And a lot of places in Europe are really old buildings that have been converted, like big old houses. Big and Yeah, so that are 100 years old, 200 years old. So back then there wasn't really a bathroom in, well, they've had to, there wasn't really a bathroom in people's houses even, or it was quite rare, but with the apartment block, made into apartment blocks, they've just had to basically fashion a bathroom out of what used to be a cupboard or something. So toilets and bathrooms in Europe, in these old buildings tend to be really, really small and uh, the size of a cupboard. Uh, I think I have a picture of my niece in one <laughs> I'll try and show you. So that is quite, she was in quite an expensive apartment, but that is the bathroom. It's yeah, one thing I fear I don't seem to get, they just seem to think the smaller your apartment, the smaller the TV. Um, yeah. No way we'd have a TV that big. It's or that big. <laughs> yeah, our, red. yeah, taps. I don't know if it's a big thing here. People in Ireland get so excited for these things. Babe, are taps a thing in the Philippines? Not really. As long as it's hot and cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you this can see. Really nice. This is what's really in right now. What? The one that you can move around because it makes it easier to wash dishes and all that. Yeah, sure. 13k, $250. And okay, we're still going. We're now at kitchen. 6 to 27, continue shopping. We're getting hungry. What's I'm up? I'm surprised there's no butt tubs. There's what? There's no butt tubs. There's no what? Butt tubs. But, butt plugs? It's Ikea. What sort of place do you think this is? It's in butt tubs. I'm still hearing butt plugs. Seriously, say it again. Butt tubs. Butt tubs. Bath tubs. Yes. Bath tubs. Okay, gotcha. Oh <laughs> so nice here, so Instagrammable. Pretty cool. You get to lie down on the bed. You get to see the mattress. They kind of like break it open for you, so you can see what it's made of. So uh, yeah, it's bringing back memories of my mattress in Spain, which I miss. <laughs> I guess if you're in a studio and uh, have to work from home, <laughs> these are good ideas. You get your office below your bed. And two becomes three. Yeah, all the showrooms, IKEA seems obsessed with kids. <laughs> I, think, I think they're trying to encourage more and more people to have kids. <laughs> so People keep coming back for more stuff. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the rooms we're in, the showrooms, the bedroom always has a, a cot in it. If you come here with kids, I don't think you're getting out without a teddy bear or two. <laughs> the kids are going nuts for them, <laughs> grabbing, snatching, stuffing as many as they can. Going into the restaurant. Uh, we're so hungry now, we're just looking at all this going, yeah, want that one, want that one, want that one, I'll take that. <laughs> Prices are pretty good as well, so that's how hungry we are. <laughs> <laughs> Time check, it's almost 4 p.m. and we haven't eaten anything. Yeah, that's well I had a bit of breakfast, but that is all for us. Uh, what do we got? Soup, mushroom soup, a couple of salads. Salads are only 50 pesos. So there's carrot cake, there's a chocolate cake in there, some salmon. Some marinated salmon, chicken wings, uh, sort of vegetarian plant balls, baked salmon. More balls. Okay, we were super hungry and we got carried away. <laughs> so we got everything. I think as well because when it flashes up on the, the screens down there, it's super cheap. Uh, I mean, the drinks, bottomless drinks, 30 pesos. I mean, this was about 200, 300, 200 something, and then 50 pesos for a salad. And you think, okay, this is all really, really cheap. And then we get there and you go, oh, well, um, it was 1,800 pesos. <laughs> for, it was 1,800. Yeah. Okay, now we've eaten most of our food and we're a bit more civilized and calm now to yeah. go through it. So it's been uh, two hours to get here, so from the start of the store, and we didn't 
stuff around that much. So two hours to eventually get here, get your food. So hungry, grabbed everything. Um, so what do we get? The uh, we go through it. We got it everything. Doesn't look nice anymore. We'll go through it all. First of all, the famous famous Swedish meatballs, which everyone talks about all over the world. So they now have a plant-based one. If it's a meat version, you get a Swedish flag. Yeah. So I got plant-based because I don't eat meat. Michaela got tried both. Because I didn't want to share his. So, I was so hungry. So which one won? The plant-based one. Yeah, apparently much better. Uh, I haven't tried those. Michaela prefers plant. This is really bland. Like, I was expecting much more from the Swedish meatballs. But yeah, the plant-based one is a lot more flavorful. Really so baked salmon, um, yeah, it's all right. All so, right. So. Uh, the marinated, the marinated smoked one is actually really delicious. Um, that's pretty. Oh, the the green salads. It's only fifty pesos. It's pretty good. Uh, the big no no is the chicken wings. It sucks. I'm just gonna say it outright. It just sucks. I can't yeah. even eat it. It's like the driest chicken wings I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have much flavor, it just feels like you're eating charcoal, basically. So, and you've had the carrot cake now? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I think with the desserts, you can't go too wrong. The carrot cake, the chocolate cake. I haven't tried it yet, but maybe our future selves can say in the editing how good it was. So, yeah, that's the food. We're going to finish up, have a food coma here. Uh, oh, what's really Figure cool? Figure out what we're going to do with the chicken wings. They have bottomless coffee, so keep drinking coffee. And drinks. Yeah, and drinks, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then carry on. Okay, we just finished stuffing our faces and we're at the halfway point. So now they do, uh, we've been in all the showrooms where you sort of take photographs of things and you can order at the end. And now it's kind of like grab a trolley, um, shelves, pick things out, fill up your trolley, traditional shopping sense. Cold? <laughs> so, yeah, if you're if you're Irish, um, you'll be okay. If you're Filipino, I'm dying. I you, just want to go. You might need a jumper. How are you feeling? Will you make it really to the end? No. Oh, there's a map. Let's go and see where we are on the map. Okay, we're at 17. <laughs> yeah, we've been here hours. It looks so real. <laughs> All your uh, fake, fake flower needs. It just goes on and on and on. Plants, rugs, bathroom stuff. There's something new around every corner and so and there's a couch comfortable couch to sit on so there's places to sit there's places to relax uh, okay we're getting near the end i think uh the stuff you photographed earlier took note of uh, that had the unique codes on it um there's a uh, rhyme rhyme to the reason to those codes so i kind of forgot at the very end or towards the end you uh it's a self-serving self-service warehouse so if the code is 160220 you can go to rack 160220 which are those tables i told you about which are famous all over the world and you pick up your flat pack as demonstrated by this random stranger you pick your stuff up from the racks uh we're nearly out uh the checkout's there uh that was our IKEA experience. It's been years since I've been in one. I hope we've done a comprehensive uh, look at it all and you have a good idea. So what do you think, babe? It's really fun actually. So just make sure you're going to come here, make sure you have all the time in the world because again, it doesn't stop. I don't want to leave here without having something to eat. So yeah, it's really fun. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me because So yeah, we've been here four hours. Um, well, four hours now and a little less than an hour for food so um so yeah set aside about four hours for all of this yeah. <laughs> uh we actually didn't we we're leaving sort of empty-handed but we kind of thought we'll okay them yeah we've, we've, we've had the experience of it all so we've seen everything um really everything because like i said the everything. system the system they have makes you walk through every piece of furniture so uh yeah we're going to go home chill out and uh order stuff online <laughs> home, home, relax, get a Don't drink. Fall.